angels willing to hold us in their arms When our worth of stone or ashes And we both passed on Let forever mean forever Good afternoon. Welcome to the craziness. It's been a crazy day. It's been kind of hectic, been kind of busy. Uh, and then I pile things. I'm getting grumbled at by the dog. I pile things on, um, which doesn't help. So <laughs> um, I was out talking to the landlord for a little bit. <clears throat> and uh, um, I was talking to the landlord for a bit. And uh, so that put me a little behind getting up here to start the show. In fact, I uh, I didn't get the uh, Facebook show set up in, in what I call in time. I can start it at any time, but 10 minutes ahead of time, you have to have it set up or to schedule it afterward. Not a big deal. But anyway, then last minute, as uh, as I've got Facebook about set up, um, then I find out that uh, that... Facebook has changed their streaming requirements to secured servers. So I had to go through and reset up my software, and I had it wrong the first time. Obviously, I came up for a short time, and I went right back down uh, on YouTube, and that's because I had to get settings right. So my apologies for that, for being a little bit late. Um, wow. Uh, <laughs> where to start? Where to start? So I put out a video earlier today. Uh, many of you... Uh, probably know that already, and um, and it's actually probably one of my fastest uh, growing videos as far as views. I've never had anything like this, uh, and I'll tell you what, it's absolutely from the heart, and I, I can't urge people enough to go to the different news outlets out there and, you know, ask them, why are you not talking about this documentary that uh, this Nipsey hustle was uh, was getting ready to do, because this is enormous. This is huge. How many doctors have we seen that have you know been murdered or you know quote unquote committed suicide? Uh, you know that have uh, that have come up with different uh, different treatments that that are successful in treating different conditions. I'm just at a loss here. I'm absolutely at a loss here. And when you have 70 patients show up, okay, 70, we're not talking about one here or there. When you have 70 patients show up at the Supreme Court and say, you know, and prove they had, they had medical records proving that they did have AIDS and then they had medical records proving that it was cured, that it was gone. Now, I don't know about you, but I think that's a pretty big deal. Right, and this is the first. If it wouldn't have been for the murder of Nipsey Hussle, I'd have had no idea about this. I'd never heard a word about it before this. And so I think, regardless of what your possible views may be on rap music or you know whatever, um, this guy is owed something. This guy is owed our attention. All right, not just this rapper who was murdered, but also this doctor who was murdered. They deserve our attention. They deserve us going and making comments on social media of these different news agencies that are refusing to mention the documentary. Right? They'll talk about his clothing store where he was you know, shot near. Um, they'll talk about his rap career. They'll talk about his movie career because he's been in other movies and stuff. But I haven't seen one yet. Not not mainstream. I haven't seen one mainstream news yet talk about this documentary. So it's important. Over the weekend, and this is what I want to talk about a little bit, it, it leads right into that. Um, over the weekend, Jen and myself had watched uh, the documentary Snowden. And if you have not seen that, it is a must. Um, it is amazing the information that came out in that. Um, and, and to my knowledge, everything that's in that documentary is, uh, is, is real. It's the truth. There wasn't nothing that was exaggerated or lied about. 
And there is one scene in particular that I want to point out. Because if you're not paying close attention, you will miss it. Guaranteed you'll miss it. There was a scene to where they were looking into uh, a man's uh, family. As, you know, And <clears throat> I believe it was his daughter-in-law, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but anyway, she was, uh, she was I want to say, in Paris or something like that. Uh, she had a laptop that was sitting on a desk and the lid was opened up. And they literally just, boom, connected right to that laptop and activated the webcam on the laptop. Now, we all know that they can do this. But this is the part you want to pay attention to. That laptop was turned off. And it's clearly said in the video. But it's just that split second that it's said. Pay attention to that. If you watch that documentary, Snowden, pay close attention to that. But I still haven't gotten to what I want to talk about. I, this is the most important part of all of that. The media, the news media after Snowden changed. And it really didn't dawn on me until watching that documentary. Because in watching that documentary here, I'm watching all these different news outlets. You know, people like Wolf Blitzer and stuff like that. And they're talking about Snowden, and they're 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 wanting to to dig in with everything they've got to find out as much information as possible to be able to let you know. Now, when's the last time your news outlets have done that? Since Snowden. In fact, they didn't even do it with WikiLeaks. Okay, they talked about WikiLeaks. But did they really get involved with the bunch of investigative reporting and, and really boots on the ground type of reporting when it came to WikiLeaks? No. That changed after Snowden. And now, for those that are even somewhat awake, it's very clear that our government is in complete control of the mainstream news. Absolutely complete control. See, there's a lot of people that buy this left versus right narrative and all that. I'm so far beyond that, it's unreal. And I, I notice there's all these different stories that come out that um, they don't get any true reporting. You know, the, the important stories, well, look, at, look at Nebraska, for instance. Look at the Midwest with all this flooding. Which is quite interesting to me because I can't possibly for the life of me figure out why they would want to suppress what is going on with the flooding in the Midwest. Unless they were, for some reason, at fault. And I'm not saying they were. I'm not going down that conspiracy road. But what I'm getting at is, um, you know, it's just, uh, it, it's just, um, it is what it is. You know, but we have to we have to take up for where they quit. And this is why I put out that challenge today. Okay? Because if we push... Folks, there are so many things. You all know that I, 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 I vape an electronic cigarette. Right? Evil Evil Rick vapes an electronic cigarette. Tons of people vape. Right? I couldn't tell you how many people that I'm responsible for getting into vaping. At least into the hundreds. I can tell you that much. Into the hundreds. Uh, when vaping came to the United States, and I've talked about this a little before, I was boots on the ground. I was, I was elbows deep in it. And uh, even though I still smoked at the time, I'm just being candid with you. Um, you know, I seen the potential. I seen the value. I just wasn't ready to quit smoking yet. Okay? And there are a lot of people, we used to have live video chats to where we would sit there, and, and I did vape, don't get me wrong, but I, I also smoked. Um, we would sit there and, and vape on camera, on live video, in chat rooms, and, and they set up schedules. We had shifts, okay? And people would come to the chat rooms and they would talk to us about vaping, people that didn't know anything about it, some people that had some experience, some people would hang out that, that you know, knew quite a bit. And we would help people get started in vaping. I was there from the get-go. In fact, 
I've got merchandise that has still not been released to me that was seized by the FDA at the port. Okay? A fair, over $1,000 worth of merchandise. Right? I'll never see it, and I know that. But what I'm getting at is, is we were... You know, we were at the front lines of this information war when it came to vaping and electronic cigarettes, okay? But it was because of our persistence. It was because of our, our, our voice. And when I say voice, I mean our scream. That we were able to at least keep things bay at the level they, they are today. If it wasn't for us, vaping, electronic cigarettes, would have been completely banned in this country long, long before now, okay? Um, if, if the pro-Second Amendment supporters would speak out even half as much as the vapors, we wouldn't be seeing all these red flag laws. You wouldn't be seeing these quote-unquote high-capacity magazine laws. I'm telling you. You know, when, when you have a large mass of people that say, not just no, but hell no, you get results. You get results. And so that's why I put out that challenge, and I mean that challenge from the bottom of my heart. I want people to go to their local news media, and I want them to hold them to task. Ask them and keep asking them over and over again, why won't you talk about this documentary? Because once we put them on a spot, to where they know they need to, they, they have to say something to, to save face, because believe me, we can get them to that point. Then they are going to go to others. They're going to start actually doing investigative reporting. They're going to actually call up some people and say, hey, is there any possible way that there were some connections with this murder, with this documentary? And the more we push, the more questions that are going to be asked. We need to do this, folks. This is huge. What we have in the palm of our hands is enormous. What we can do right now is change the course of history when it comes to medicine and big pharma. We have that opportunity now if we act. That's a big responsibility. And there's a lot at stake. They've been using us as test subjects now for God knows how long. Preventing us from having treatments that actually work. Poisoning us with the treatments that they want to give us. We have an opportunity here to set some things straight. And I see that. I see the same opportunity with this as what I've seen when I vaped on my first electronic cigarette. I do. Same opportunity. Now's the time. Now's the time. We have to... We, and it, it goes beyond this, okay? We, we need to start holding media to task. And not just mainstream media, but we also need to hold to task alternative media. You've got all these different alternative media out there that's running with all these stupid, crazy stories, right, so they can get views, so they can get people to follow them. We have to start calling them out. Plain and simple, we have to start calling them out. Because alternative news, alternative media is under attack too. And the more these idiots are allowed to spew their nonsense the harder it's going to be for us to be able to stay in existence. Those that are actually telling the truth. Plus, it sheds a bad light on all of us. You know, if, if we were all compared to Alex Jones, <laughs> could you imagine? And I have respect for Alex. Alex started out great. He did. I followed Alex. I followed Alex closely. He started out great. If you've never seen uh, the, the documentary America, uh, I think it's Destruction by Design, you have to see that. Amazing work. And you will learn so much in that documentary. And I can tell you the things he covered in that 
documentary were true and correct. But I think the money monster came Alex's way. And I think that's what spun him. And, and that's part of the reason, of several reasons, why we demonetized on YouTube. Okay, that, that's, that's why. Because I don't want people to think for any reason that money has anything to do with what we're doing here or why we're doing it. Yes, we have an Amazon link. Yes, I appreciate it very much so if you go to Amazon via our link. And that way we get credit for some sales that throws a little our way. But it has nothing to do with the news. Okay? I don't want to... You know, if people want to donate, you know, they think we, we do good and they, they want to support us and stuff, that's welcome. Go to our website, thewatchmannews.com. There's a donate button. And thank you. You know, we, we appreciate it. It does truly help us. And it's going to come back in the show because we have just now started putting ourselves in a position to be able to do more do-it-yourself stuff, do more reviews on stuff. Okay? Just forked out. 139 bucks for a camera, which isn't a lot. I know that, okay? But it's a lot for us, you know? And I, and I did that so that I can bring more stuff to you, so that we can be more of what we aspired to be, okay? And so that helps that. But it's not about that, and that's why we demonetize. You know, and I challenged others. I made that challenge to other alternative news at that time, if you recall, for them to demonetize. Take the money away from it. You won't see us starting up a, a, a Patreon channel. You won't see us. We're not in it for that. You know, you, you, you can tell somebody's intent by their actions. Don't listen to their words. Watch their actions. And that goes for everything all the time. Okay? You've got, let me give you an example. You've got all these different prepper channels and stuff like that. And, you know, a lot of them have started up their own Patreon accounts. And for X amount of money a month, you can go and get this exclusive content. What are they looking for? They're looking for a paycheck. Okay, my views on that, and I'm not holding anything against them, by the way. But what I am saying is, you know, put <laughs> odd to say it, but put your money where your mouth is. Okay, if if you're there to get information out, to enlighten people, to help people, then there shouldn't be dollar signs attached to that. And so, you know, I I, just, I could not even sleep at night. If I was putting out there information for all of you and not just expecting but demanding payment for it, <laughs> okay? I just think it's as wrong as sin. But and I'm not judging those that do. Don't get me wrong because I'm, I'm a, uh, I am a strong capitalist, you know? I mean, if, uh, if, if you can make money uh, by having a YouTube channel or by doing this, uh, more power to you. More power to you. It comes down to morals, okay? It comes down to morals. And I'm not a judge for anybody else's morals. Just the way it is. I'm an odd duck. I'm a very odd duck. I'm just telling you for us, it wouldn't set right for me, okay? It just wouldn't set right with me at all. So anyway, you know, we need to hit these. Uh, the reason why I spoke to that is because that's what mainstream media is now. It's all about money. Okay, I never, <laughs> I never seen advertisements so much on news, and I'm not talking about commercial breaks, okay, but like I'm signed up for a few newsletters, like one of them's for KMOV, our local, one of our local news stations, right, and uh, I don't get any news in the email, I never get any news in email, what I do get from KM, KMOV4 is advertisements, Right? They send me advertisement emails to this business or that business. Now, that seems, uh, well, they've been doing it for quite some time, but, you know, it didn't used to be that way. They didn't used to be all about money. I guess maybe that's one of my issues with 
Alex, too. You can't go watch Alex Jones for 15 minutes without hearing about eight minutes of commercial. Okay? It's crazy, folks. It's crazy. You know, we don't even mention every day about our Amazon link. You know? It's just, it's not the focus. Um, again, I, not judging the others. It comes down to morals. It comes down to focus and intent. And, uh, you know, we want to be here for you. And we want to be here to get out truth. We want to get out as much help and knowledge and information as what we can. It's what we do. What we stand for. So please try to, uh, try to hold these people to task. Okay? Go to these different news organizations. Um, the link is in the description of that video that I put out earlier. Uh, you know, feel free to use it. Um, well, it's not our link, but, um, you know, go to your different news outlets and post that and ask them, you know, why, um, why are you not talking about this documentary that he was getting ready to, to start? Because that's huge. That is huge. Let me, uh, have a sip of coffee here. I haven't even had a sip of coffee I went and poured her coffee while the intro video was going, so. And I've been dying for our afternoon coffee. Huh. I'm telling you. I am telling you. It's, uh. It's crazy. It really is. You know, there's a few things that, like Alex has done, that, you know, uh, different sayings, catchphrases, and stuff like that, that is so awesome. Like the war, war on for your mind, I believe, is one of them. And it's true. It is true. There is an absolute, all-out assault on your minds. And it's being done by, you know, media, meaning you turn on your television set. It's being done on social media. You know, and some of that is in some of the news stories that I'll be covering today. You know, they are doing so much to slant people the direction that they want. I put up on Facebook earlier, I, ju I found out today um, that we're going to be getting a Chick-fil-A here in, uh, in Highland. And I thought, hmm, I've heard that it's good. I don't know, never had it. There's a lot of places I haven't had. And um, anyway, I... Um, the 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 re, the way sorry I'm getting jumbled up the way I saw it or even heard about it was somebody was throwing a fit because we were getting a Chick Fil A and all their political views and their identity politics and I could give a damn less about that do you do you make a good chicken sandwich because that's what I care about right I don't I don't need to hold you are you killing people no you're not killing people oh so you have an opinion. Well, good. We should all have opinions. What we should not do is force those opinions on others. Okay? I don't have a problem with homosexual people. I don't. My only issue arises when they, one, try to say that the Bible says it's okay. I've got an issue with that because the Bible clearly states that it's not. Period. So make your choice. Either you're going to walk with God, you're going to walk with Jesus, you're going to walk with the, the Word, or you're not. Pretty simple. Don't try to change it. Don't try to pervert it. Right? Same with the Constitution. Either you walk with the Constitution or you don't. Don't try to change it. Don't try to pervert it. I won't say don't try to change it, but like you've got your first ten amendments that shouldn't be touched. Okay? And that's the way the forefathers intended it, was those first ten amendments were not to be touched. At all. Like, as in, shall not be infringed. Right? So again, I, it's not that I have problems with, with homosexuality. I, I, I don't care. It's none of my business. You know, whether Bobby and Jack are sleeping together is none of my business. I don't care. Right? When it comes to, when, it, when it's made my business because they want to do it in, in in my home, that might be a little different, okay? Because here we follow God. Pretty simple, 
right? Uh, when they want to try to indoctrinate children with this stuff, I've got a problem. Just the way it is. And I realize that's an opinion too. I get that. Right? But my opinion is not derailing society. The fact that what you do in your own home behind closed doors is your business is not derailing society. Now, if I were to go out there amongst society screaming at the top of my lungs, Bob, Jack, don't sleep together, you're going to hell, then there would be a problem. Right? It's not my job to do that. It's not your job to do that. It's nobody's job to do that. Let Jack and Bob decide for themselves whether they want to sleep together or they want to be with Susie and Jane. It's up to them. It's up to them. But anyway, that's how I found out. With somebody throwing a fit because, you know, the whole, you know the drill with Chick-fil-A. I mean, I, I hear they make a good chicken sandwich. I want to try it. We got a Burger King a few months ago. Uh, God, it's awesome. I uh, I like Burger King, and we've ate there twice, right, babe? Twice. Awesome. Uh. Um, we live in a small town. We don't get anything new very often. So uh, in the past year, we've gotten a Burger King. There's some chicken place, not Chick-fil-A. It's a different chicken place. I don't remember the name of it. Um, and then we got a third one. I can't remember what other kind of place we got. Do you? And we got a third rest. I don't remember. But now we're getting a Chick-fil-A. And I can't wait to try it. Um, I, I, <laughs> it's probably going to be interesting when it opens up. There's probably going to be a, a ton of people uh, protesting it and all that. So um, I'm just guessing. I have no idea. But, uh, you know, back to back to what I was getting at. You know, we, we, we need to do what's important, right? We need to do what's important. I would say being able to cure a, a formerly incurable disease is important, right? Why isn't uh, why isn't mainstream news talking about this? You know, we we need to hold news media both mainstream and alternative to task. Okay, how many times have I heard that Hillary's going to jail? Hillary's going to jail. I've, I've, I guarantee you I've heard that over a hundred times and it's been a bullshit lie every single time. And I hope she does. Don't get me wrong. I'm in the camp that I hope they lock her. I hope they black bag and get mow her ass. Okay, right before we see her swinging from a lamppost. Yeah, that's how I feel. That's how I feel. But there needs to be a whole line of them along with her. Um, and it's not because she's against Trump either. I've been saying this. <laughs> I've been saying this for a very long time. Much longer than, you know, Trump even thinking about running for president. You know, I, I don't pick a political side. There's right and there's wrong. That's all I need. I don't need any other type of identity politics or anything like that to know right from wrong. It's pretty simple. It's pretty cut and dry. Anyway, please hold them to task. Your local news media, anybody you can, especially on social media, you know, hold them to task of, about this with uh, Nipsey Hustler. I mean, I'll be honest with you. When I heard the name and I heard Nipsey Hussle, I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I laughed. I laughed. The guy that does his very best not to have judgment like that, I laughed. Okay, the name, Nipsey Hustler. Okay, it's, it's funny. Um, in my opinion, it's funny. Right? Um, but... I didn't look more into it at that particular time. And uh, it's a shame that I didn't. 
And I just happened to run across something that was talking about him uh, getting ready to do this documentary about this doctor and this doctor curing AIDS and won a Supreme Court case. And I'm like, whoa, that's a big deal. And that's when I dug and found out about the 70 patients that proved to the Supreme Court that he had cured their AIDS. And the saddest thing in the world is I'm hearing about that now. What was that, 2016? He won that Supreme Court case, I think. It's now three years later, and the only reason why I even know about it is because a rapper got killed. Interesting stuff. Interesting stuff. Sometimes even the awoke need to wake up. I'm guilty as that as any other with that. Anyway, another sip of coffee and I'll get to the headlines for you. Mm. Man, good stuff. Okay, bear with me. I don't even have Twitter up. Which means I got to bring it up and scroll five miles. There's quite a few headlines today. A lot of stuff over the weekend. Oh, come on. You know you want her. I normally have this uh, all scrolled, ready to go. Uh, Yeah, there were more rocket sirens in uh, southern Israel. Uh, That was yesterday. Uh, Court blocked another Trump attempt to undermine Obamacare. That was yesterday. Uh, Saturday, man receives 20-year prison sentence for swatting call that led to the death of another man. That was the Andrew Finch case. Um, And as you know, I'm sure Prepper Nurse One has talked about it uh, during his his live stream last night. Um, And in the video the day before, he talked about him being swatted. Uh, I knew about it that night, Um, as you know, if you watched his video or watched his live stream. I knew about it that night, um, and I, I just couldn't, uh, I couldn't say, of course, Jen knew about it. Anything I know, Jen knows, um, and I let evil know, I, you know, um, I told evil about it, but that, that was it. Uh, other than that, I was completely hush about it, um, because, well, I was asked to be, um, and so you know about it, and, you know, this is, uh, This is insane that this stuff is going on. It needs to stop. People are dying as a result of this immaturity. It's absolutely a shame. Um, Okay, also Saturday I put out Russia land-based U.S. threat to impose sanctions over Venezuela. Also Saturday, Yellow Vest call for new protests in in Paris. Uh, Released five killed in factory explosion in eastern China. Okay, now let me go ahead and scroll up. Let me make sure that wasn't something late Friday night. Oh, uh, I think actually it was. Police chief and friend charged with raping child over seven-year period. Let me say that again. Police chief and his friend were charged with raping a child over a seven-year period. We really, really, really have to rethink this whole idea of authority, okay? As I've said a million times on the show, you know who my authority is? God. There is no one in between. God is my authority, period. There's no one in between. Not a member of clergy, not a person in a uniform with a shiny piece of metal on their chest, not any teacher, nobody. God is my authority. That is my only authority. I can choose whether I want to do right or wrong, and I can choose what it is that I deem right or wrong, and you can too. You don't need somebody else as a middleman. Right? You just don't. That's begging for for problems. Okay? I hate to say it because it's been said a zillion times, but, you know, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. I think that's how it's said. Uh, Let's see. Proposed red flag bill in Colorado aims to take guns away from people who are deemed a threat. 
Uh, let's see. U.S. man faces up to 10 years in prison for stealing rail tracks from Auschwitz death camp. What me? Maduro announces 30-day power rationing as Venezuela is gripped by blackouts. A new big brother, question mark, India's Project Insight in full force searches social media for unpaid taxes. Right? <laughs> what country do you think that sounds like? A collective punishment, Zuckerberg's call for internet regulation is aimed at competitors. You never want regulation, folks. You don't. What you want is individual liberty. Okay? The more individual liberty you have, believe it or not, the more right others will act. Okay? You know, if you have two children in school and one child's bullying another child, today, with all these quote-unquote anti-bullying laws, what happens is when the bullied child winds up having enough, having their fill of it, and dots the bully in the eye, the bullied child is the one that usually gets in the trouble. Right? I know, I've been there. I've been there myself. That crap started right while I was finishing up in high school. Been there, done that. Okay? If, if you wouldn't have all these you know, what's the mandatory, you know, mandatory things, policies, procedures, you know, and your school representative, whether it be principal, teacher, whatever, sits down with Billy and Johnny, you know, finds out that Billy or already knows, probably already knows that Billy's been tormenting Johnny for three years. Johnny got tired. Johnny got pissed off and dotted Billy in the eye. Anybody with any decency would be looking at Billy and said, you know what, you got what you deserved. You got what you deserved. Now that teaches a lesson. That absolutely teaches a lesson. That teaches the lesson of right and wrong. Okay? You may not always get caught when you do wrong, but when you do, you should be punished for it in a manner that teaches you a lesson. You think suspending a, a student from school, putting the student out of school for three days or something like that, do you really think that that's going to do anything? Right. Right. That's, that's the equivalent of a, a police officer, you know, shooting somebody 21 times, an unarmed person 21 times, and then give them paid lead off, leave off. What the hell is that? What's that all about? You know? While you and I, if anything, we wouldn't get paid leave. Absolutely ridiculous. You don't want laws. You want individual liberty. Because then you, you can obtain something that's more along the lines of common law, which is what you want. Okay, there has to be rules for things to be civilized, okay? But, come on, most of us know the difference between right and wrong. And you were, if you were able to approach those that did wrong in the manner that they deserved to be approached, they would think twice before doing wrong again. But the way the system is set up right now, they're not getting taught. People doing wrong are not getting taught anything. Look at child molesters. They get caught. They go to jail for a little while. And many times, it's a little while. And they get out and they do it all over again. Right? Let the families of that molested child deal with that child molester. And I'll bet you there's a 90% chance that it never happened again. Point blank. We need back more control of our own lives. Russian shipments of LNG to Europe and Asia leave the United States well behind. Game changer, China's yuan bonds to reshape global capital markets, which those two articles right there should be a bit of a wake-up call, 
as to what's going on globally in the financial world. Uh, disgusting and offensive anti-vaxxers under fire for use of Holocaust symbols at protests. Uh, Venezuela is most open U.S. coup, pundit tells RT as Wall Street Journal talks, getting Russia out of Caracas. Hundreds of women secretly filmed undressing for treatment at San Diego Hospital. How do you like that? Right? A hospital. A hospital. India launches top secret spy satellite into orbit along with CubeSat swarm. Uh, your resignation would do perfectly. Social media backlash to Prime Minister May's knife crime proposals. Right? They take their guns away. Now they're trying to take knives away. It's ridiculous. Aren't they figuring this out yet? And it's just going to get more brutal, folks. Okay? You take knives away, it's going to go to baseball bats. You take baseball bats, who who, who knows? There's going to be wooden spoons from the kitchen. You know? People will find a way to kill one another. You know? The first, the first murder was done with a rock. How are you going to ban rocks? Uh, let's see. Widespread economic slowdown across Europe with Italy heading to zero growth, says the uh, economy minister. Terrifying video shows tornado tearing through fairground in China, killing two children. In China, tornado. Uh, system failure, thousands of passengers stranded as software glitch grounds flights across the U.S. Uh, Twitter reinstates anti-abortion movie account after sparking outrage with unexplained suspension. That's what I was talking about uh, earlier. With uh, Man, this social media thing is getting to be ridiculous. And don't get me wrong, I fully understand that they have a right to allow or disallow anything they want on their platform. The the First Amendment does not apply to Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. It's it's a private entity, and I respect that. I respect that. I do. I think it's a bunch of horse hockey, right? But it is what it is. If, uh, if, If the government wouldn't be so in bed with these social media companies, uh, we would be able to allow others, other social media uh, companies to be able to rise, okay? But these other social media companies are are being suppressed. Just the way it works. We need to change that. That's up to you and I. All, All of this, our future is up to you and I. It's not up to some guy that gets voted into office. Oh no, that that's that's a that's a fairy tale that you've been told. No, it's up to us because you can't expect that those people are going to do what it is that we the people want to do, right? Look at what they've not done for years. What we the people want, okay? So it falls on us. You know, it's <laughs> it's simple. We just have to get off our butts and and make it happen. That's all. Look at France, right? You don't think the you don't think Macron is uh concerned? You'd be foolish not to think that Macron is cern- concerned. Okay? I, what what about this stuff with the Brexit? You think the UK is concerned? The UK government? I bet they are. Right? They don't even know what to do with this whole Brexit thing. Right? Because the people took back control. Look at what happened in Iceland. Oh, that's right. You don't hear about Iceland. Why? Because the people of Iceland did the exact opposite of what we're doing. Okay? They took back control. They kicked all the banks out. All the crooked banks. Right? They kicked out all the crooked politicians. Right? And they're trying to rebuild their country. That's why you don't hear about it. They don't want you to get any ideas. A Russian aluminum giant Rusel resumes supplies to U.S. and Europe. Uh, More tears? Question mark. Johnson Johnson and Johnson. Wow, I'm like slurring. Johnson and Johnson baby shampoo samples fail India's quality test. Hmm. That's not good. 
How does this serve U.S. interest? Question mark. Gabbard slams decision to sell Saudi Arabia nuclear weapons technology. Uh, yeah, I've got an issue with that too. <laughs> Uh, 30 firefighters and volunteers die from fighting forest fire in China. A Catholic priest, right? We've been hearing Luke Radowski of We Are Change has talked about, you know, what's going on with social media's modern day book burn, book, ah, see what I mean? Book burning, and I agree. It is absolute modern day book burning. Well, we've actually got book burning going on again. Catholic priest in Poland torch Harry Potter books to denounce magic. Right? So now are we going to hear about wild claims of people walking down the street with their hair on fire and burning them at the stake? Is that next? Really? Shouldn't a Catholic priest be worrying about keeping their hands off of little kids? That would be nice. Please, you know, why are you bothering books? <laughs> Uh, Russiagate in-game question mark Democrats to issue subpoena for full unredacted Mueller report. Uh, son of MI6 chief killed, and it says quote unquote, I don't know why, killed in car crash in Scotland. Uh, MSNBC's Maddow keeps spinning Russian collusion hysteria even as her own network corrects her. This is, this, this, I mean, these people are mental. I don't, you, you know me, I, I don't support, I, it's, when I say I don't support Trump, I don't mean I don't like anything that he does. And at the same time, I'm not telling you I like everything that he does. There's good and bad. I don't have to choose, you know, one of the, he, he does good and bad. Commend him for the good, shun him for the bad. It's pretty simple logic, okay? Pretty simple logic. Um, this whole collusion thing was a joke, and I, I've been saying that from the beginning. Been saying that from the beginning. But what's proved to you that they're working together is the things that Trump was not called out on. Oh, there's a slew of things that Trump's not called out. If if the left wanted to hurt Trump right now, they would call him out on gun control, his support of gun control. Right? Because that's supposed to be huge with Red Team. Right? They're working together. One one creates a nanny state, the left, and the right creates a police state. Okay? In order to have a nanny state, you have to have a police state. You've got to have both. You can't have one or the other. You have to have both. And they both have to be equally as powerful. Think about it. Nothing but a sham. U.S. halts F-35 equipment shipments to Turkey over Ankara's plans to buy Russian S-400s. Uh, and watch Russian special forces take hallucination-inducing shield into action. Yes, that shield that you see in that image, apparently with the way that the lights on that strobe, it can actually cause you to have hallucinations. That's pretty, pretty messed up. That's pretty messed up. Think about that. Wow. Wow. It'd be a nice tool to have, wouldn't it? Anyway, let me go ahead and close up the monologue. I'm done through the news articles here, and huh, I'm ready to get going on videos and all that good stuff. So it's a Monday. What can I say? Uh, let's see. For those here for the live show, Stick around, don't go anywhere, don't click off, don't do anything. Uh, this is just how I close up the monologue every day. It goes out separately some days. I don't always get it out. I plan on getting this one out. Um, so don't do anything, go, go anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, for those that just watched the monologue or the recording thereof, thank you very much. As always, God bless you, we love you, and be one with your spirit.